Hello friends, you can create visuals by using Python packages in Power BI service as well as in Power BI desktop. Power BI supports many Python packages like Matplotlib, Pandas, NumPy, SciPy, Seaborn and many more other packages. Anyways, I will give you the list of all packages supported by Power BI in the comment section so you can go through. This video series is about creating visuals using Seaborn in Power BI. Seaborn actually gives you the aesthetics and uh, the capabilities to create different types of charts. On top of that, matplotlib will uh, allow you to create the plots. So keep watching this entire series of videos where I'm going to discuss many types of charts like facet grade and um, heat map and so many other chart types. The list of all chart types will be given in the intro so that you can understand what kind of videos you're going to see. So keep watching and please do subscribe and please share with others so that they will also get the idea about this topic. Today's video I'm going to discuss about creating heat maps using Seaborn and Matplotlib. You may find this very similar to Excel conditional formatting and also Power BI conditional formatting. In Excel to create a heat map you need to have a rectangular data that is a pivot table or the data by rows and by columns and the values. Then you can add the color scale, maybe two colors or three colors to show a, a neutral color, a middle color. So that accordingly you can show the anomalies and understand about the data. Same way in Power BI you can add a matrix table. There you can add the same gradients on the data and then you can showcase this heat map. Same thing we are going to do in Seaborn. We are actually creating a rectangular data like a pivot. So we are using a pivot function and then on top of that data we will be using other attributes like color mapping and uh, using lines and different uh, color schema we can use it and how to get that color schema if you don't know how to uh, know about it that also will be discussed in this video. So. Keep watching. This is the data set I'm going to use. I have three measures. One is revenue, cost and profit. And I want to showcase the profit inside the heat map. So the heat map will look like this if I add a matrix table. And inside that if I add data, that is in the rows, I'll be adding the branch. And inside the columns, I'm adding the application and adding total profit. So it has some values. It is a very crowded information. Now I need to make it readable. For that I'll go to total profit background. Sorry, conditional formatting background color. And then I need to create the gradient. I'm using gradient. So lowest value I wanted to just uh, highlight as red and highest value to white so that whatever good profit will be not given any color otherwise the color will be very strong. So now this information is visible very clearly and I can understand what exactly the problem is. The same visual if I wanted to use in Python then I need to add a pi visual and visual. So already I have Python installed in my PC and now I'm using the packages. All the related packages are uh, downloaded and imported are there and I need to import those packages here. Initially I need to add the required fields for example branch application and then profit. Now uh, the data frame is created the data frame name is data set and now I need to import the respective packages so import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and then import seaborn as sns so this will now allow me to create so i need to establish the data first of all i need to create uh, a rectangular data using the data frame so data frame is nothing but data set so i'll say data equal data set dot pivot so i'm using pivot function in the pivot function i want in columns branch 
and I want sorry in the rows I want branch and in the columns I want applications sorry application and then values will be total profit sometimes I may end up writing wrong spellings I need to just check it so data data set pivot branch application and total profit now my data is ready so I need to create the heat map so sns dot heat map and then I need to give the data. So this is a very basic uh, heat map. Then now I'm using matplotlib to create the visual and show it. So plt.show. Now if I run the code, I will see the very basic heat map without any values, without any kind of understanding. So we are not understanding what exactly is happening around. That is the reason we need to give the other attributes inside this heat map that is First of all, I need annotation. That means nothing but I want to have the numbers. That is true. And then I want some lines. Line widths equal 0.5. So I'll get some lines. And I want a color mapping. So C map equal. I will just write because I know it. So that is red, yellow, and then green. So now if I run this, I will be able to see the heat map in a much proper way. Now you can see the heat map in a nice way. And now I wanted to show you how to change this color schema the way we want. You can actually explore. Let me do one thing, let me do a mistake. So there I'm just writing my name. Of course, there is no such name inside the packages. So this will throw an error, but it will give you nicely all the uh, color mapping, uh, the alert, all color schema, the names of them so that you can actually pick and choose from them and create your own. So let me run this. Now you see there is an error. And if I go to see details and this will showcase the, all what I supposed to use. So value error, Vijay is not a valid value for names. Supported values are, now you are uh, able to see all the values, whichever you wanted to use, you can use. For example, I'll use the flare. And here one thing you need to understand, flare and flare are, are. R means reverse. Suppose red, green, red, yellow, green. That is first red, then yellow, then green. If you want reverse, then green, yellow, red. There is no green, yellow, red, but you have a, red green yellow r so r means reverse you can select any one like say uh, cv cv dis r so let me just close it and now cv dis underscore r and if i run this i will get some different schema i need to know i have not, never tried this but it will be shown here so this is the uh, color schema it is and accordingly you can use whatever you want but i always uh, stick to this uh, red yellow green otherwise you can see red green red yellow green re reverse also so if i do red yellow green i will see the red color on the top red color in the down and green on the top and if I say underscore R, it will be reversed. Now red will be on the top and green in the down. When you are showing expenses, so highest expenses are red and lowest expenses are green. Then you can sh showcase R, D, Y, L, G, and R. Then you can see the highest values are in red and lowest values are in, uh, are in green. So minus is in green and positives in red. But it is profit, so I don't want to showcase like that. So that is the reason I wanted to show red, yellow, green. And if I run, I can see the visual. However, I'm coming up with many more uh, such visuals in a very easy way and uh, writing just four or five lines of code, you will get the visual. So keep watching. Please uh, share with others to, uh, so that they will know about it. And if you are not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching this video.